It's colder than Antarctica in Chicago. This major American city all but deserted, except for a few brave souls. It's so cold that your eyelashes are frozen. Yeah, it's definitely chilly. What's it like being outside in oh, these Oh, my dear lordy cold. lordy, it is cold. My teeth are cold. My you... lips are frozen, yeah. and I've only been out here about two minutes. You're shivering. <laughs> yes, I am. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. We don't get this cold. With the wind chill, these are dangerous conditions. The city's homeless population, the main concern. No one uh, in need of a safe or warm place to stay will be turned away. No one. Our number one priority is the safety and security of our residents, especially the most vulnerable. And it's not just Chicago that's suffering. This weather event is called a polar vortex, which is when very cold air rushes south from the Arctic. This one is particularly dramatic and widespread, which means that tens of millions of people across this country are facing this plunge in temperatures. In many places, it's not safe to keep schools and businesses open. Thousands of flights have been cancelled, and travel is treacherous on frozen roads for those drivers who've ignored advice to stay put. And although the US Postal Service has tried its best, it's been too much. Mail delivery suspended in some regions. This was looking to be like the really great winter. December was really warm, but I knew we were gonna pay for it. And uh, yeah, we're really paying for it now. Yeah, this is just really cold. In a few days, it is due to warm up. But for now, there is little to do but stay inside and wait for this record-breaking deep freeze to end.